Hey, thanks for joining me today for episode 34 of Podcasting Your Brand. I'm your host, producer Jemmy, providing learning lessons for you to podcast your brand. And today I'm going to share part two of this initial series of episodes, Thoughts Before Launching, The Why, also known as my mirror exercise. This episode is brought to you by my own brand, Flintstone Media. Listen in and let's do this. People often talk about knowing why you're podcasting and how critically important that is. But I like to start my clients off examining this in two parts, taking them through my mirror exercise. So as you may recall from episode 32, I shared a quick sizzle reel of clips from recent times I've been invited as a guest on other podcasters shows. And I promised to further flesh out each of those tips for you on future episodes. Well, guess what? This is one of those episodes. So here's that quick clip again from Creating Daily, a daily live show on content creation put on by my amazing friend, Billy. Thorpe, and he called this episode Boost Your Podcast Launch with producer Jemmy. Just to remind you again, we recorded it back on April 1st, and I talk a little bit about the correct order of a podcast launch, which I'll get into on future episodes, and my mirror exercise, which I'll be getting into on this episode. Essentially, if you're launching a podcast, think of it like there's a car train, right? And there's certain things that have to be done in, in a proper order in order to maximize effect and minimize your budget. <laughs> and so what I recommend is, first of all, you need to know what your show is going to be about. So it's not so simple, right? Okay, you might say I want to do a show about uh, adopting dogs. Fine, that's great. But there's so much more you need to think about and think through. So One of the first steps that I bring my clients through, and I actually will share this as a really good piece of advice that I want everyone to consider, because we often think about, you know, what's your why? Why are you doing the show? That has to be the first thing you think about. But it's it's a little more complicated than that. I think about it in two sides. And you need to have both of those sides answered in order to know what kind of show you're going to put together and how to best deliver on those. And those two sides are the why for your audience and then there's the why for yourself. And those can be very, very different. And they probably are very, very different. And so I walk through what I call my mirror exercise and I ask them to hold up a mirror and then face it out to the audience. Usually this is the easiest part because when they face out to the audience, I'm asking them, what do you want the show to do for them? And they, they go, like they know, I wanted to inspire them to do this. I wanted to educate them on this. I want to make them laugh. I want to, da, 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 right? So then we get to the second part of the mirror exercise. That's when it can sometimes get a little uncomfortable. So then I have them pretend that they're facing the mirror to themselves. And when I ask them, what do you want the show to do for you? Oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes podcasters are podcasters because they want to give, 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 spread a message, make a movement, deliver an impact. They're not doing it to put a a spotlight on them. But I tell them, I remind them, it is okay to put a spotlight on you. And if that's what you want, you need to express that. Let's have that Mm -hmm. as part of the conversation. I need to know that. So the spotlight on them, the why for yourself, if you're thinking about this for your own Mm, show. Love this. And yeah, it can be anything from monetizing. I want to make some money (laughs) or at least defray the costs of production if I'm outsourcing, right? I want to become a public speaker. I want to sell more books. I want to become known in this industry or break into this industry and network in this industry. So whatever those reasons are, you need to know what those are because both of those sides of the coin are going to formulate how to structure your show. Because if you have that as the intention, it can't just be about just the interview. It has to be, okay, the interview and what is the point of that interview? Is this person actually going to come on and give the value that I'm promising my audience that they're going to give? And if by doing this interview, is it going to add to my footprint in this podcast and help elevate me to my own goals? So step one, knowing your why, but recognize that there's two sides to it. Okay, so let's do my mirror exercise now together. First, imagine that you are holding a mirror. Hold it up, but face it first toward your audience and ask yourself what you want your show to do for your listeners. That is the message of the show, what you want it to do for your listeners. So imagine your ideal listener and that they've just listened to an episode of your show. It it ends. 
they, or they hit stop, whatever. And they say, I am so glad I listened to an episode of fill in the blank with your show because dot, dot, dot. What do you hope is in that dot, dot, dot? That is the message that you are trying to convey. Is it to inform them about rescuing retired racehorses? Is it to learn the latest scoop on the Marvel Universe? Is it to be inspired to be more charitable? Like, what is the message of your show? What do you want it to do for your listeners? What's in that dot, dot, dot? Feel free to actually pause this episode and jot down your own thoughts right now. Now, let's face that mirror toward yourself. What do you want? What do you want your podcast to do for you? That is the mission of the show. That is why you're starting this podcast in the first place. What do you want it to do for you? And this part of my mirror exercise, to be fair, can make my clients often a bit squirmy and <laughs> uncomfortable, right? Because oftentimes what we're trying to do as podcasters, even if it is to build our brands, we are also coming to the microphone to give the same value. And it's the same reason we have our brand in the first place. We're trying to solve a problem. So we're oftentimes here for our listeners. So it's so much easier sometimes to wrap our heads around the message of the show, what we wanted to do for our listeners. Remember, you're stepping up to this plate too. You're here to build your brand. So don't be shy. It is so important to analyze what you want your podcast to do for you and your brand and to analyze it honestly. And it's okay. So if you need someone to give you permission to talk about what you want for yourself, well, here you go. It is here, right here, right now. I give you full permission to honor what you are wanting to do and think about your own goals in the process. Done. <laughs> so what is your mission? Why do you want to further build your brand using a podcast? What is your brand's whether a business brand or a personal brand, what are the goals for your brand in the next six months, the next year, long term? What are your goals? What do you want to happen for you? Some examples might be creating an additional revenue stream. It could be to sell more books, to network for clients in your industry, to become a public speaker, to travel and explore more of my state. That one will be coming up as a personal example in the future. I guarantee it. <laughs> and it could even just be getting these thoughts off of my dang on chest. <laughs> like, whatever. It could be whatever the reasons are, they are your reasons. And if there are some ones that are very, very serious, and if there are some ones that are very, very silly, write down your reasons. What are the goals that you hope this show does for you. Having a good grasp on what these goals are when in the very initial development stages of your show will help guide how to build out your show because you can be intentional in building in the opportunities that can make your goals happen. You'll see how all of this starts to come together as we continue on these episodes, I promise. But for now, feel free to pause this episode again and jot down your thoughts on the mission of your show. What do you want the show to do for you? All right. At this point, you should now have two lists and you should consider these, well, three, <laughs> if you consider the list from episode 33 as well, but from this episode specifically, you should now have two lists and you should consider these also as living, evolving lists. Reevaluate them regularly to be sure that your podcast remains in alignment with your brand and both sides of your why, the message and the mission. Revisiting your lists regularly also helps counter pod fade, which again, we will be getting into on a future episode as well. <laughs> 
promise. And just as a reminder to look into that opportunity I mentioned on the last episode to monetize your expertise with the OWL app. I'm a big proponent of finding what you're passionate about and then figuring out a way to do that for a living. It's my whole entire dreamers become doers mantra. Like I should probably get that tattoo. Don't give me ideas. I'm about to say get a tattoo, but so now I'm thinking about it. Maybe I will. (laughs) So if you're an expert in something, you should be creating as many revenue streams as possible. An owl spelled with two W's and two L's is a fantastic new option. And it was developed by a good friend of mine, Jason Hill. So I know the human behind it, and he built it in that same exact doomers become doers spirit. Maybe I can convince him to get like matching tattoos. (laughs) We'll see what happens. But anyways, there's a link in the show notes to flintstonemedia.com slash owl, where you can watch a video with more info. And there's also my referral code there, PL954123. And that will get you a $10 credit. So do yourself a favor and check it out monetize your expertise on OWL, going active when you want to. In fact, remember, you can catch me on there for a one-on-one on-demand coaching session. So as you're listening to these episodes, if you then want to ask me a question about what you're planning with your own podcast or a clarifying question, you know, you can take it to social media or email. That's fantastic. But you can also take it one on one with me on OWL. So just sign up, use my referral code PL954123 and you'll get that credit. All right. And as promised, I will be taking the topics touched on in episode 32's rebrand sizzle reel and fleshing them out on future episodes in between all the other great information from my experience over the years building brands through the power of podcasting, both for myself and for my clients and for networks and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and teaching. Gosh, I've kind of done a lot. And so far in the last two episodes, we have covered the what on episode 33. And now here on episode 34, we've covered the why. So up next on episode 35, I'll continue with part three of this initial series of episodes, which I'm either calling considering your relationships or examining your ecosystem or something like that. I'm still mulling it over. But regardless, it's part three of this thoughts before launching series, the who. So if you're not subscribed yet, be sure you do. You don't want to miss it. In the meantime, I still have a lot of great tips for you on my website. Just check out flintstonemedia.com slash free tips. Thank you again to Billy from Creating Daily for giving me permission to include his clip here today. Again, I really, truly appreciate it. And by the way, if you're headed to PodFest at the end of May, be sure to track me down. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, you can use my code IGNITE. Remember, I like to Set everybody else's stuff on fire. (laughs) Use my code IGNITE for 20% off. And I'll put a link in the show notes for you to get your tickets today. And I'll see you there. Thanks for tuning in to Podcasting Your Brand. In this new chapter of the show, I'm revealing how you can harness the power of podcasting to expand your brand. So come and pick up what I've been putting down since 2014. Avoid common mistakes and propel your podcasting and your branding forward. And if you have questions or are interested in becoming a sponsoring brand of this show, don't be shy. Reach out to me at Jemmy, spelled J-A-I-M-E, at flintstonemedia.com. It's producer Jemmy signing off for now. Remember, the only thing more powerful than your voice is your spirit to use it. So turn that mic on. Flintstone Media has been the digital messaging bedrock of several brands and businesses, serving as a highly resourceful podcast production house and consultancy firm for over six years. Visit FlintstoneMedia.com for podcast samples. From show development and setup through recording and distribution, work with a leader in the industry and add a new podcast to your brand's content offerings. That's FlintstoneMedia.com.